Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 18th of October 2021. I thought I'd start this video with a little bit of a moan and then finish it with something a bit different for you, a recommendation which you're going most likely at least going to find really, really funny and enjoyable. <laughs> so let's get the moan out of the way first. I believe and I'm not 100% sure on this and I'll get quite a bit of my news uh, from well the, the stand in the park have a telegram group and there's all sorts of news views and uh, everything else on there and not all of it is reliable and it's uh, a lot of it is a lot of it's good stuff but you can't rely on everything but they were saying on there that apparently Boris Johnson is going to have a lovely little cosy dinner tonight with a certain computer nerd who used to be a computer nerd and now seems to have sort of turned into some kind of uh, genocidal maniac. And I think uh, you know who I'm talking about. He likes to wear pink jumpers a fair bit of the time. So apparently they are going to have a nice cosy little uh, dinner at number 10 Downing Street. Uh, also this article I saw on Telegram is concerned anyway and uh, I believe it's true. You might want to verify that for yourself. Um, but if it is true, even ordinarily it, it would hack me off a little bit because when you consider that uh, um, Matey is a billionaire and Johnson's probably not short of a bobber to himself and yet we, the taxpayers, have to no doubt be stumping up for, to pay the bill for this dinner. Uh, and that's annoying in itself but when you consider what they're likely to be talking about in at this dinner uh, and the mind just boggles and I'm sure if you could be a fly on the wall uh, you would find out some very enlightening things but it's not something that should be happening and why uh, our so-called Prime Minister is having him around for such a cosy sort of shindig tonight. I've got no idea. It just shouldn't happen. And uh, uh, I'm, at the very least, you've got to ask yourself if a certain amount of bribery and corruption is going to be involved, which I'm positive it is, and it could be a lot worse than that. So... I don't know if anyone watching this has got a fair old sort of bit of legal knowledge, but uh, it'd be fantastic if you know someone could force them under the Freedom of Information Act to sort of have any kind of recording of what's said over this dinner kind of made public. Uh, and obviously, obviously they wouldn't want that, but if they could be forced to do so by a freedom of information, uh, wouldn't that be great? So if you have any legal knowledge and you think something uh, like that could be made to happen, uh, maybe you uh, want to sort of look into that. Anyway, that's uh, that out the way, and I'm just going to go on... Uh, now, I've talked about this guy a few times. Uh, many people watching this already know him. Uh, they've actually found my channel through him. Uh, other people uh, have found his channel through me. Uh, but you might not know him. Uh, but he's a guy called Lee from the Veritas Vincent channel. And uh, really... I think he was sort of more or less one of my very first subscribers. He was certainly one of the first five anyway. 
and uh, he gave me a shout out on one of his videos recently so uh, I'm sort of doing this uh, well first of all to sort of return the favour it's always nice to return a favour uh, secondly because it's his birthday today so uh, uh, happy birthday Lee if you're watching this and uh, also he in one of his well, it was one of his uh, recent videos, um, at some point over the weekend, I think he mentioned this, he sort of uh, gave a really great recommendation as well. Uh, but before I go into that, um, if you're not subscribed to Lee's channel, uh, I sort of can recommend you do so, because if you like hearing me talk uh, like this, um, with my views you'll enjoy Lee because he uh, kind of well, he's a little bit different to me he talks uh, um, a few about a few other different things but generally the style is similar uh, just an ordinary guy talking to camera like this and um, which seems to be something that people like a lot so yeah if you like hearing me you'll like him so I'll leave a, a link to one of his most recent videos in the description box and the comment section below so you can check them out but this recommendation that he gave a few days ago uh, was for this hilarious thing I've, I've already seen two or three of them myself now after his recommendation so again thanks Lee for that um, uh, it's not going to be for everybody and if you don't like swearing it's not going to be for you uh, if you don't like political incorrectness, it's definitely not going to be for you. Uh, so, you know, if you sort of uh, are a firm adherent to political correctness, you probably won't want to see this thing. Uh, but it's a channel called, um, well, just, <laughs> just the uh, title of it will sort of... Uh, uh, give you an idea that it's not politically correct but it's called bugger nation <laughs> and um, it's a spoof on coronation street so what uh, these people have done it's quite it's been quite cleverly done actually what what they've done is they've taken um, a load of episodes of not the recent coronation streets but the ones from the 70s yeah when it is all kind of uh, Hilda Ogden and uh, what is his name, Alfred Titch, Titchlock or whatever his name was, uh, sort of uh, Len Fairclough uh, and, and all those, you know, sort of Rita Fairclough I think she was, wasn't she, Bet Lynch, uh, the barmaid and yeah, which I regard as the heyday of Coronation Street. Uh, not that I'm into soaps but um, sort of, uh, I lived part of my childhood uh, in the same house as my uh, gran, and she sort of uh, uh, loved Coronation Street back in the 70s. And you know, sort of as a kid, obviously, I just sort of sit there and watch it as well. And okay, yeah, I kind of got into it in the 70s and got to know all the characters and, and what have you. Uh, not that I've really watched soap since. <laughs> Uh, or not willingly anyway uh, but yeah going back to this bugger nation thing it is really like a uh, yeah mickey take of the coronation street and they've sort of taken these old 70s episodes and kind of dubbed over it in these sort of uh, mock voices and uh, saying all sorts of uh, things that are just politically incorrect uh sort of uh, just plain wrong really uh but not not too bad but you, you know it's not for the faint of heart but it is very funny and uh if you kind of like me and you're a similar type of person to me um i think you'll find it or with, or with similar tastes, should I say, I think you will kind of enjoy this. So I'll leave a link to one of the uh, episodes to that in the description box um, and comment section below as well. So 
not really the sort of usual thing that I recommend, um, which let's face it can sometimes be a bit serious, uh, even a bit depressing sometimes. Uh, and even when it's a bit uplifting, it's still a reminder of the situation we're in. Uh, but uh, I think this is just going to be a bit of pure escapism and uh, bring a smile to your face and give you a few laughs, which, uh, let's face it, uh, uh, we always need a little bit of that, don't we? So I'll let you go and check out Lee's channel and check out that, uh, that one as well and be back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay now, thanks for watching.